a grande iced uh, cold foam, cold brew. <laughs> what is it called? I'm so sorry. Uh, I, you said it right. I did? Okay. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Um, extra foam on that, please. Is that, does that have a flavor in the actual cold brew? No, it does not. Can I add like a um, sugar free caramel? We don't have sugar free caramel, but we do have sugar free cinnamon, don't change sugar free vanilla. Sugar free vanilla would be great. I don't even know what I ordered. Cold brew, cold foam. I know there's an original one, and I think the last time I had it, there was no flavor. So it was really, it was not sweet enough. So I just added three pumps of sugar free vanilla syrup to like the cold brew coffee part, and then I think it's sweet cream on the top. So, with extra foam. So we'll see. Awesome, you thank you. You too. No, this is not what I want. Oh, I did not order the right thing. That's just straight milk foam. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Clearly, I just ordered the wrong Starbucks, and now I am so sad because it's really plain tasting. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. That's fine. I guess I'm trying to be healthy anyway. So, um, Sydney and I are sitting in the parking lot. We just pulled up to the mall. I'm going to go to Old Navy because I think they're having some seasonal sales. Um, and Sydney needs some up, more clothes because the growth spurts. We, we, we did. We pulled up to the mall. Um, so, anyway, so I'm going to be shopping at Old Navy and probably H&M for Sydney's clothes. I won't go, I won't go, to, I won't go to the mall. We are at the mall right now. Now? Yeah, we're going right now. Anyway, you guys, so today's video is going to be a day in the life vlog. Sydney and I had um, a busy morning editing. Uh, well, Haley, I did. Had a busy morning editing, editing a video. I will talk to you a little bit later about um, parenting changes and behavior changes with Sydney and just things that we are going through and how I am um, tackling them and just, just got a lot to share with you. So I've partnered in this video with Drop. It is, I've talked about Drop, um, the Drop app, quite a few times here on my channel, but I have partnered with them on this video and I'm so, so excited. So if you guys are new um, to Drop and don't know what it is, it is a rewards points app where you can earn points by shopping at places like Old Navy, Walmart, um, Starbucks, um, anything, as long as you link your card through this free app, you are able to earn points and then end up redeeming all of these free points to get gift cards from like Amazon, uh, Starbucks, Walmart, Revolve, all kinds of different places. You guys can use my code TRAYSHEEKMAMA and then I also have a link and that I will pop in the description box below. Drop is choosing 50 of you guys who sign up through my link to earn extra bonus points that range from five dollars to twenty five dollars in rewards points okay you guys so first i'm gonna just open up the drop app which is the green d um, app here on my phone and i'm going to show you how you shop through this app so you basically can scroll to find your offers you can go to the my offers tab and say i wanted to shop at old navy i'm just gonna click on the oval that says shop and it's going to give you a second and you see at the upper left hand corner it says 30 per one dollar that's how you know you shopping through the drop app and you're going to earn your points and that is all you do you scroll on the website of old navy and then when you check out you will earn your points i love the fact that you can shop at sephora 40 points per dollar walmart you can do your groceries um through there old navy okay so let's just go to um old navy is 30 points per dollar if i go in to my utilities i'm pretty sure that was from earlier i like had to do the math i'm pretty sure in 2019 i spent 500 dollars at old navy we'll just estimate and if it's 30 points per dollar i could have gotten 15,000 points through my drop app just by shopping at old navy as normal so that is how many points i missed out on by not shopping through the drop app so it's a brainless mindless thing so yeah that is how easy it is 
love the drop app I'm it's just a no-brainer so make sure that again that when you do sign up you do link your card to be eligible um, to shop through the app and gain points and then like I said 50 of you will be getting um, bonus points and ranging from five dollars up to twenty five dollars all right sydney's getting antsy so let's pop into old navy and life is a winding road read that no telling where it goes wait how do we do this driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights Only a dollar ninety-nine. So many. Those are cheap. Okay, this puffer vest is on sale for six fifty. Good. Even if you don't need it for your own child, if you're able to donate to kids in need, this is like amazing. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Some good stuff. Some good prices. Sydney's begging to go on the carousel, and she does every single time we're at the mall, and she's only been on it once, so I think I'm gonna let her. My backpack is getting squished. I should have stood on the outside. Are you having fun? This is good. This is fun. You're not falling. Whee! Right, we got a balloon, we got a ride. You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness, we are at H&M now. I never let her like roam free because I just, you know, whatever. But she's happy. And I never let her do the carousel either. But we're trying new things. We're trying new things. Come on. You can't believe it, you just got a balloon? Yeah. <laughs> All right, she's doing pretty good. I'm really, I love shopping at H&M for her clothes, but this store doesn't have a, oh gosh. Wow. The store doesn't have a huge selection for her size, so I like to shop online. Okay, oh, those are cool. Oh, that's cute for five bucks. Every mirror she sees, this is what she does. <laughs> I'm getting just this one shirt, it's so cute. Okay, so now Mama's in Sephora because I have a gift card and I need some skincare. I want to try some samples. Hmm. I haven't 
been here in so long. Right, so she's making me a sample of this because I need a major exfoliation um, because my skin is just so dry it's sloughing off. So she's gonna make me a sample of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. I'm excited. All right, we got frozen yogurt. I just put a bunch of boba on top, like kiwi, mango, strawberry, and we did a mix of the regular and the mango. And Sydney and Mommy are gonna share. I want to, I want to eat it. You don't want to share? Well, I want to eat, but not also, okay? <laughs> but also. So yummy. Try it. Is it too big? Okay. You know what's okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are we having a good day? Should not jump like that. I should do little jumps and hold onto the railing. Hey, it's not a good idea. Okay? It's not a good idea. Yes. Oh. So 
had said that I was going to talk to you guys about like parenting and things um, earlier. So Sydney's in bed and I'm editing this vlog and editing the clip that had Sydney pouring milk out on the floor and me talking to her. So you guys missed the in-between. Like I wasn't recording the whole time, obviously, but I decided to hit record after like the big aha moment. So Sydney dumped the milk on the floor and of course, like I'm assuming normal reaction for me um, or as a parent would be frustration and being like, what is happening? So Sydney started doing things over the past couple of weeks that she's never done before. She never like does things that she knows she shouldn't do. So lately she's been like, writing with her chalk on her toys and then coming to me and tattling on herself and saying, mommy, I wrote with chalk on my unicorn and then she'll run away. Like things like that. She, the other day dumped, put the remote in my coffee and those are things she's never done and she's three or almost three. So she clearly knows better. So I have been reading this book and I know I've talked about it so many times, you guys. I've been reading this book and it is mind blowing how simple, but yet like, how did I not think of this? And how spot on this book is. Like I just got done reading last night um, a little section or chapter that says, um, kids will start acting out when they're trying to tell you something, when they're tired, when they would need to go home, when they want something. And I was like, holy cow, Sydney's asking for my attention when she's doing these things. She's not doing them to be naughty. She's doing them because she doesn't know how to verbally or I mean she knows how to it's just weird it's just weird like she knows how to talk she knows how to come up to me and tell me she needs something but that is her way of expressing herself telling me she needs me so when she dumped the milk I was sitting right here where I am right now on my like computer area um Sydney was done eating dinner and I was still um like finishing dinner very slowly um so I was replying to you guys comments on my video that I just uploaded so um she was happily playing in the living room with her balloon she just finished dinner um so I was just while she was happily playing I was taking a moment to reply to you guys comments and out of nowhere she stopped playing with her balloon walked over to where her milk was and just poured it on the ground and then ran away. That was her telling me, hey mama, I want you to play with me or I'm tired. That was her telling me something. So right after that happened, I walked over to her because she ran on the couch and like hid her face with her blanket. She knew what she did was wrong. She knew she shouldn't have done that. So I walked over to her and I said, Sydney, are you trying to tell me that you're tired? And she said, no. And I said, are you trying to tell me that you want me to play with you? And she said, yes. Just like that. And I was like, what? Like, wait a minute. How did this woman know that? Like what? So I, I hit record um, to like document it only to, sh only to like document this parenting thing and like this change you guys I probably would have gotten frustrated before I read this book I probably would have gotten frustrated because it's been a few weeks of battles with Sydney and I and I probably would not have handled that this way and I would have gotten frustrated I'm like why did you pour the milk on the floor you know you're not supposed to do that that's not okay like gotten frustrated and upset with her versus me saying hey that's my fault i wasn't paying attention to her i was on my phone i shouldn't have been um i should have been giving her my undivided attention because bedtime was an hour after that and i didn't need to be sitting here on my phone for a few minutes you know working i could have done that later um that was my bad so it was, it's life changing because she didn't freak out and cry. I didn't freak out and cry. Um, I'm learning through this process and this book is changing. The past two days have been the best two days that Sydney and I have had in four weeks. And it's all just because of my approach and my like taking a moment back to understand Sydney, to understand that she needs to be heard. Her feelings need to be acknowledged. And it's things that like, 
if I look back on, I should have known and I should know, but it's eye-opening. So I highly recommend if you guys are going through a tough stage with your little ones, highly, highly recommend this book. I will have it linked in my Amazon story and down below as well. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of explain that clip a little bit. Um, she was telling me that she needed my attention in that moment and that is why she acted out and poured milk on the floor. It's just... Like, obviously that's not acceptable behavior, but we're, this is, we're, we're on day two of like practicing better ways of handling, um, handling it, toddlerhood. And we've gone like three or four weeks of battling. So it's going to take some time for her not to act out like that. And I mean, that's normal toddlerhood. They're going to act out in one way or another. So anyway, I wanted to explain that. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed our beautiful little day in the life. Miracles are happening with parenthood and toddlerhood and I'm so ecstatic. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to download the drop app through my link so that you can earn some extra bonus points that you can redeem for gift cards to your favorite shopping stores. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.